Well, we do have an awful lot of dialogue to do in one day. For instance, um, a show like Miami Vice probably takes eight or nine days, something like that to do, 70 or 80 pages. We do that much in one day. Now, needless to say, the dialogue doesn't always come out quite the way it's supposed to. Now, watch Wait. Nancy Grodd. You mean this condition could be permanent? Let's not entertain the thought, Lionel. Let's get down to topic A. What is topic A? <laughs> oh, yes, I remember. Can we go back? I will sustain the objection. Please confine your question to what took place on the night of the assault. No, the point is, Your Honor, that it is possible, even probable, that the skin was collected on the night of the assault. I sustain the objection, Mr. Capwell. You sustained the objection? <laughs> you don't sustain an objection? Did I sustain it? You don't sustain it. <laughs> well, once you get the dialogue straight, you then have rooms, and we have an enormous studio filled with rooms and props. In this particular case, Lane Davies has to deal with the prop. For God's sake, go to the police and turn yourself in. You need help. The kind of help I needed, I never got. Certainly not from you. You want to see anger? I'll show you anger. I don't have any bottle left to threaten you with. <laughs> One of the problems that we had was that Louise had to play sightless for quite a few weeks, and which is tough enough in itself. But when she had to play with me and a wonderful comedian named Ronnie Shell, then it really proved to be a problem. <laughs> Well, why don't you sit down? I'll ring for something, or you could get yourself a drink, or... Oh, sure. Uh, oh. <laughs> you have sight, and you're I'm playing with Ron, Ronnie Schell and Nick Coster, and you see what they're doing. I, I it's the very truth, difficult to not see it, so here. various yes, things uh, would happen, happens, and uh, I would try not uh, to see it, and then I would just explode. Uh, what? Um, well, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. But for formality's sake, this happens to be Frank Armstead. This is my former husband, Lionel Lockridge. I'm not former. I'm not former yet, dear. Well, it won't be long. Frank uh, happened to have been reading me some poetry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Liz. This is gonna work. Spit on his head. Please. Louise is famous for her concentration. Louise never makes a mistake, ever. I'm witness to that fact. Um, in this scene coming up, uh, all she had to do was simply say something to the effect that the fox lying down with the hare. And watch how keen her concentration is. Perfect. They're both fine children. Here's Charles B. I uh, hope someday that they might marry. I'm glad to hear you say that. I've been hoping the same thing, Cece. Incredible. Hmm? Just incredible. Mm. Fox and the... And the... What? The lion. <laughs> Fox and the... Something, two Tiger. things are lying down. <laughs> Crocodile. Oh, uh, one of the things that we never do on our show is break up. Oh. Because yeah. breaking up is hard to do. <laughs> anyway, never, because it's a very serious show. I don't understand. Somebody moved a television set. Why would they do that? Well, at least the couch is still here. Julia? Where are you? Ah! Ah, ah, ah. What the? What is the matter with you? You, you, you were going to sit down. Well, I know I was going to sit down. Why did you scream? Well, there's a, a, a prickly pear, a, a porky, a, a, a pin cushion. <laughs> well, one of the, the great things, as we mentioned earlier, about this cast of Santa Barbara is the fun we have. And I think that in any relationship, you have the low points and the tough points, but our high points are our humor. And I think we've seen it tonight. They're all these wonderful actors and actresses are terrific sports. And that makes it all worth it.